I am the hyper chef. Today we're going to make strombolis. I started making these when my kids were little and at the end of the week there was leftover cold cuts and I wanted to find a way to reinvent them and make them something new so they would get eaten. So it's kind of become a recipe, but honestly, I'm gonna do pepperoni and provolone and I'm going to do a spinach pie stromboli, but you can do turkey and cheese, ham and cheese. I usually do a meat and a cheese. You can put anything you want. I've done roast beef, I've done ribeye and peppers. You can do anything you want in a stromboli. So how do we start? You've got a baking, baking sheet and I put in this rack to raise it so air gets underneath and I'm putting a piece of parchment paper on top. On top of the parchment paper, I'm spraying it with baking spray. And you'll see why in a minute. And I just spread it with a paper towel just to give it a fine coating. Like that. Now, Pillsbury thin crust, not thick. You have to use the thin crust. I leave them in the refrigerator until I'm about to use them because once they start to get warm, they're a little harder to work with. Give a snack. Open that puppy up. Okay, now find the seam. Find which way it's going. All right, so now I'm gonna lay it out. What I do is I par bake it. I lay it out and I leave it flat. That way it can get just a little tacky, like a, just a little bit of cook on it so the, the ingredients don't leak through. Now I'm gonna put this into a preheated 400 degree oven for honestly just a couple minutes till I go in and it has a little hardness to it and then we'll start making the stromboli. Okay. Now, this has been in for a few minutes, and as you can see, the dough has risen, and it's not as gooey on top. So now I'm going to take it out of the oven. We're gonna go back to the counter, and now we're gonna do the two things you do with this. You burn your hands, and you deal cards. What do I mean by that? Here's deli provolone. Uh, he, it's sliced kind of thick. Unfortunately, due to the current situation, I couldn't get it sliced to order. So you can use a lot considerably less than this. This is almost a half a pound I used in one shot, which normally you wouldn't have to do. Then you put the pepperoni, layered over, you can go right to the edge. Unlike the spinach pie, which we'll do later, that you can't go to the edge. This you can go right to the edge. And pepperoni is greasy, which is why we par cook the crust before we roll it, so that the grease does not leak through. We've all had a stromboli at a pizza place where you see the bright red oil leaking right through. And this pepperoni is a little thick. Sometimes if it's too thin, my wife has you know, said to me in the past to add a second layer, but here this is thick, so I have to now. The burn your hand part. There you go. There's your stromboli. Now I'm gonna put it back in the oven until it is golden brown. This is not a precise science. When it's done, it's done. You, and then my best recommendation is I generally don't like to cut it until it has come to room temperature. It's easier to cut. Okay, so now on our stromboli segment, we're going to do spinach pie. Traditionally, spinach pie was made in my house with a homemade crust or with the frozen pizza dough, and it was rolled out, and it looked more like a pie, and I would get a chunk of it. And then we started rolling it stromboli style, and growing up in Patterson, I, of course, we packed our lunch every day for school. There was no home lunch. Walking home, you had to walk home for lunch because it was presumed that you had a parent at home. So when school lunch started, when I moved to Hawthorne, I would bring in spinach pie, and everybody would look at me funny as they sat there with their bologna and cheese sandwiches, but you know what? They were losing out. I don't do a traditional spinach pie. The traditional spinach pie I grew up on was more Sicilian style, which means for every savory you have a sweet, so there'd be golden raisins in it, there'd be pignoli nuts, cardone, which is a looks like celery but tastes like artichoke, it's a bitter vegetable. I don't cook it that way. I have my own version of the recipe. All the recipes I ever had always had olives in it, so mine has olives. So here's what we're going to do. This is one bag of chopped frozen spinach. This will make two strombolis. Uh, all I did was boil it enough to just defrost it and I sat, let it sit for a while to get, and I pressed it down to get the majority of the water out. Now, before we put that into, to saute, this is a can of pitted California olives. That's all this is. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the knife through it very quickly. And this is the only chopping you need to do for the entire recipe. Frozen spinach and one chopped up can of olives and you have enough to make two strombolis. And when I show you later, when I plate it with the other stromboli, I made the pepperoni and provolone, you're gonna see what a beautiful platter it makes. It's really nice to bring to a party. It's nice to put out because you have those beautiful, colorful pinwheels and people go crazy for it because it's a grab and go, it's portable. I've packed them in the kids' lunches when they were little. And see, that's all it is. It's, it's a crude shop. Nothing I'm doing is precise. This isn't baking, it's cooking. If you make a mistake, like, my nani would say, non importante, not important, just keep moving on with it. You swing it and you make it work. Now, that's all we need to do. Now what am I going to do? 
I'm going to take a wooden spoon. I like the flat spoon for this. I'm going to turn the heat on. Probably should have done that already. So let's let that sit for a second. In the meantime, I'll get my other ingredients ready. Here is capers. Now, capers can be salty. If this is too salty for you, you can rinse them. I let them drain, I take them out with a slotted spoon, and I'm gonna put in two big serving spoons worth. And because I'm putting capers in, I will not put any whatsoever salt in this, because I'm putting that, I'm putting grated cheese, and there will be mozzarella, so as you'll see, it's going to make it very um, salty already. Now we're gonna take this, it's a very thin layer of all, for this you use olive oil, and here's my trick. When I put it in, it looks like too much oil. Watch what I do. Just go in the sink, and I'm gonna dump a lot of this oil off. There we go, that's better. I put too much. You really want a very thin layer. Now, this will heat up very quickly. And while this is heating up, I'm gonna get the rest of this in here. I don't need this colander, so I'm gonna throw it in the sink. And then I'm going to put in the capers and olives which I'll bring over here so I don't make a mess. Oh, who am I kidding? I always make a mess. Nope, oh, man down, it's all over the floor already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can hear it's already sizzling. I'm gonna grab my wooden spoon back. All you're doing is starting this to heat the spinach through and incorporate the ingredients because the spinach doesn't need to be cooked. And this, the rest of the heat will happen in the oven. Then we're gonna put the following. Hot sauce, as usual. Bunch of hot sauce, and a nice handful of grated cheese. The mozzarella will wait till we put it on the stromboli skin to put on, so we have less of a mess to clean up later. All I do is stir this, and you can do it to taste. If you think it's not salty enough, you can add some more, whatever you want. You can add in, there's no fast food recipe this. I've seen people put pepperoni in their spinach pie. I've seen people put golden raisins. So you really can use it as you want. This is heated through already. I'm gonna leave this on the stove just like that. And then when we come back, we'll fill that up. Okay, this has come out of the oven. It was nice, tacky, hard on one side. I flipped it over. Now we're gonna put a layer of cheese on it. Shredded mozzarella. You can use whole milk. You can use low moisture, this part skim. I'm a big fan of the whole milk. Uh, there's a little, bit of a, a little bit of a different flavor to the part skim, but this is what they had at the store today and we, do, we make do right now with what they have. Um, it doesn't make that much of a difference. What kind of shred doesn't matter either because it's going to melt. So you put it all on there. You leave a little room to the end so it doesn't bleed out. And now we're going to take our spinach mixture, which has now cooled. And since it's not wet, since I drained off some of the oil, we don't need to do it with a slotted spoon. You can't overstuff this one. You just simply cannot because if you overstuff it, it just bleeds out everywhere and it just doesn't look nice. What you want to get at the end is all the colors. You want to get the white, the green, the black, all together. Now, I made enough here that I can do a second spinach pie. One, one bag of spinach does two of the chopped frozen spinach. Uh, as a side note, um, I serve this as a vegetable, sometimes on holidays or just regular family meals, and I call it unsp unstuffed spinach pie because the filling by itself is just simply delicious. And what we did before to prepare it for this is all you need to do to prepare it to stuff it, to, to serve it on the, as a vegetable. Now again, we take it, we roll it, we burn our hands. There's no other way to do it. You want it in the center of the parchment. Again, it's not a precise science. And that goes back in the oven. Okay, the pepperoni and provolone stromboli is ready to come out, as you can see. Now you see how you have the sizzle on the bottom? That's why you par cook the crust because sometimes the pepperoni is greasier than other times. Look how golden brown this is. This is gonna come out even a little sooner if you want it to, but either way, it's fine. Look how beautiful that is. Before we slice into this, it has got to cool. So what I'm going to do is I wanna get it off this pan. Remember, I put baking spray on here. Slides right off and there it sits. Now, I will be able to use this. Okay, now as you can see, when I look in the oven light, the spinach pie is just perfect. It hasn't leaked out too much. It's just right at the edge. We're gonna go in now. We're gonna take it out. And then we're gonna bring it over to the counter and then we're gonna let it rest. And then after we let it rest, then we are going to slice into it. Look how beautiful that is. And there you go. Okay, the strombolis have cooled. We're gonna slice it. And look what you end up with, a beautiful pinwheel. 
So what I do with these is I plate them like this and I go around the plate. I only made one, normally I'll do two for a holiday of each type. I'll either put them on the same plate doing half on a side or I'll do on separate plates. So, you know, you can get fancy, you can do it on an angle like this, you can come straight across. I do whatever I feel like that day. And we're gonna arrange them. This is much quicker than the spinach pie, and I'll show you why in a minute. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lay these down. We try to do them all the same direction. You make this beautiful petal design. I usually use a round plate. Sometimes I use a rectangular plate, but I usually like a round. And I'll go into three layers like this. Okay, now those are all. Now I save the ends. Those are good to nibble on for the cook. Oops. We're gonna bring the spinach pie over. The spinach pie, you have to have a napkin handy because with the spinach pie, you have to be able to wipe it afterwards. All right. So what I do in between each is I wipe it because otherwise what happens is you end up getting a lot of the spinach on the outside as you cut it, each one, which gives it a rustic look, but I prefer not to do that. This you can't cut, slice just as thin. So like that. It's gonna leak out a little bit. It's a much more delicate than the other one. And this is still a little warm, which is why it's not doing as much. It's not staying as, staying as firm. All right, and there you go. I'll just continue on the pattern. Enjoy.